Are you receiving everything you're entitled to from the Social Security Administration? What about other government benefits? What about your friends and family? Well, let's talk about that today. Top three reasons so many people are underpaid from the Social Security Administration. And most importantly, let's talk about how to make sure you are, in fact, receiving everything you're entitled to. Hello, my name is Ed Weir. I'm a former manager of the Social Security Administration. I ran the third busiest office in the country, and I've helped hundreds of thousands of people make sure they're getting everything they're entitled to. Before that, I worked for the Department of Welfare, helping people with uh, state benefits, Medicaid, uh, SNAP, uh, food benefits. Before that, I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps many moons ago. So today in my kind of semi-retirement, I'm uh, still helping people throughout the country but let's go over the top three reasons people are not receiving everything they're entitled to. And most importantly, let's give you the tools to make sure you and your loved ones are receiving everything. So number one reason your Social Security check might be incorrect now is it was never correct. When you first filed, the calculation was done incorrectly based on the information available. And one of the things, for example, that uh, we used to do in, I guess, the, uh, the old days before the, uh, the internet and COVID uh, virtual appointments, phone appointments, is uh, when we used to bring people into the office to file for retirement or disability or spousal benefits, we used to print off their work history. So it was basically their earnings record throughout their life. And we would put it down on the desk and we say, hey, take a look at this and do you see any gaps? Remember in the old days when the Social Security Administration used to send out the statement every year so you could check your earnings, make sure it's all correct? Well, uh, that got too expensive and budget cuts, they stopped doing that. If you've got a missing year there or missing years, then that will definitely affect your monthly benefit amount. If you're a veteran, particular times of active duty service in the military might also increase your social security benefits. There are other calculations that are done when you first file um, in terms of, are you receiving a non-covered pension? If you're filing for disability, are you also receiving workers' comp, government pension offsets? There's a lot of uh, variables there that affect your monthly benefits and your benefits might not have been correct from day one. Okay. Second reason your social security check might not be correct is you just applied for the wrong program. The old saying is, uh, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So you get to be 62 years old or 64 or 65, and you think retirement, 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 and you go into the Social Security Administration or you file online or just have retirement on your mind, and the employee doesn't evaluate all possible options because you said you want to file for retirement and a program is missed. What am I talking about there? Well. Maybe you should have filed for disability. Maybe you should have filed for retirement and disability. I have a video on that. Maybe you should have filed for survivor benefits. Maybe you should have filed for spousal benefits. Maybe you should have filed for auxiliary child and care or survival child and care or disabled adult child benefits. So there's so many programs. Maybe you just filed for the incorrect program when you first filed. And the third reason your social security check might be incorrect is your situation has changed. You filed for retirement or disability benefits five, 10, 15 years ago, and situation has now changed. You have a life changing event. You have a child, you adopt a child, you uh, lose a spouse, you get married, you get divorced. All of those changes just might affect your social security benefit but social security doesn't necessarily reach out to you when you get adopt or have a child or get divorced. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the workloads of Social Security Administration offices have throughout the country is called the, the WIB-RIB workload. And I have a video on that as well. Uh, in a nutshell, it's basically if uh, people are receiving survivor benefits, and let's say they're receiving $2,000 a month in survivor benefits, but on their own record, they're now you know, 70 years old and delayed retirement credits. Now the benefit on their own record is over $2,000. So it's $2,200 or $2,300 now. So we had a person in our office would get that list and they would work that list and they would contact these individuals and say, hey, there's more money on your own record, but 
They don't pick up the phone. They don't answer the letters. We don't have a, a current address. They just throw the you know, the mail away, whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of people out there in just that one program alone that might not be receiving everything they're entitled to. So number one, your, your benefit might not have been correct from the beginning. You filed for the wrong program. Or number three, your situation has changed and you're not taking advantage of another program that is available to you. So how do you fix all that? How do you confirm that you're receiving everything you're entitled to? How do you confirm your loved ones are receiving everything you're entitled to? Well, the first way is to call Social Security Administration itself, 800-772-1213, or go down to your local Social Security office and confirm your benefit amount is correct. Or go to ssa.gov and look at their frequently asked questions. Look at the policies, look at the programs available. So number one, contact Social Security directly. Number two, I guess, is uh, watch my videos. I've got close to 150 videos and I've got many, many, many more to make. Um, I haven't even started on benefits from uh, social services, the Department of Welfare offices throughout the country in terms of uh, Medicaid, uh, Medicare, Sa Medicare savings program, uh, food stamps, uh, the utility assistance, all those different programs. I've even started on those, but I will continue to make more and more videos on all government benefits. So just uh, subscribe and watch all the videos and see if uh, you can find any money in those videos, any programs that are available to you. Or you can make it easier on yourself and just uh, give me a call. And I can tell you, uh, you know, based on a few questions, which video you should watch, or we can go over those programs together and confirm your monthly benefit amount is correct. So the list right here is all the programs we will go over when we talk. Not only, uh, again, Social Security retirement, disability, survivor benefits, but we'll also talk about uh, some type of state programs available to you, um, any veterans benefits available to you. We'll go over the entire list to make sure you're not missing anything. Inevitably, I'm asked the question on a continuing basis. Uh, all right, uh, this, uh, this help, is it really free? Yes, 100%. It's free. I never charge you anything. You never have to pay me anything. And the second question is always, okay, what's the catch? <laughs> um, you know, how do you pay for, you know, this beautiful studio here? <laughs> um, how do I pay for my phone bill and the, the website and all the rest of it? Uh, no, I'm not making, you know, millions of dollars through YouTube. I think I make a buck, buck 50 a day. I guess uh, YouTube puts a lot more value in people, you know, blowing up stuff and, you know, some kid putting a million Mentos in a swimming pool or something. There's, you know, there's value in that, I guess, in this society. But uh, people with uh, decades of uh, experience and expertise and insider knowledge helping uh, Americans navigate the bureaucracy, not a lot of value in that, I guess, in YouTube and uh, other social media platforms. So um, how do I pay for uh, the promotion of these videos? Um, you probably saw this video in the paid advertising you're watching some other cat video or whatever the case may be and you see my video pop up and it's a paid advertisement i'm paying to i'm paying youtube google to advertise my channel this particular video so it gets out to more people how am i paying for that well if you choose if if you call me up and I help you get more benefits, retirement benefits, whatever the case may be. Um, and then we also talk about uh, Medicare. And if you want me to help you find a Medicare plan and enroll you in a Medicare plan, insurance companies pay me directly. When I first um, decided to come out of retirement after about a week of retirement, I got bored really quick. Um, people continue to ask me as they did for decades, Hey, you know, I'm going to be retiring soon. Can you help me and all the rest of it? So I help them. And now that I'm no longer, you know, working for the federal government, I can kind of give you, you know, I give people insider tips and tricks and secrets. So I continue to do that. And, you know, people wanted me to help them, you know, enroll in Medicare part A and part B. And they say, well, why stop there? What about C and D and supplements and all the rest of it? So um, didn't want to get into that. Uh, those are private insurance companies. I avoided that. 
But uh, I walked into a supermarket one day and I saw a guy in a little booth there, you know, signing people up for uh, Medicare plans. And I was talking to him and he goes, yeah, I provide an extra service to my, uh, my clients. You know, I send them a, a birthday card. You know, that's why I keep connected to them. I send them an email every year, happy birthday and stuff. And so that's how I keep I'm like, that's, that's the only extra service you provide. Um, so I was kind of amazed. I'm like, well, I, I can do better than that. Um, so I started to, to add that as well as a service. Uh, again, uh, if you sign up with a, uh, enroll in a Medicare plan, a, a Medicare Advantage, a Medicare Supplement, a Part D plan, whatever the case may be, um, if you use an agent or broker anywhere in the country, or if you use the insurance, go directly to the insurance company, it's the exact same cost for you. There's zero change whatsoever. Um, but uh, in, in our case if you decide to let us help you with that as well if you don't want us to help you that's fine if, if you want to let us help you with that as well um then the insurance companies pay us directly and as i said most of that money now goes directly to you know promoting these videos so more people get the benefits they're entitled to and it doesn't cost you anything so i guess it's kind of you're paying it forward you know by helping other people become aware of the benefits they're eligible for. Um, and uh, it's kind of a win-win situation. And what's interesting is what a lot of people don't know is they're actually, I guess, in one sense, already paying for my service. They're just not getting it. If you're currently enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan, a prescription drug plan, or a Medicare supplement plan, um, you're paying someone on a yearly basis, you obviously you're not cutting a check, but the insurance company is paying that person directly on a yearly basis. So they are, it depends on the particular plan and the particular state, but they are probably still receiving a yearly commission based on your enrollment. So you got to ask, uh, you know, what have you done for me lately? Have they provided any other extra service other than a birthday card? Um, so if you're looking for extra service, uh, above and beyond just simply enrolling you and checking on a yearly basis to make sure you are in fact still enrolled in the best plan for you, uh, give me a call and, uh, we can, uh, make sure you are in fact enrolled in the best plan and be there, um, anytime you need us in the future. Um, there are other, um, people out there on, on, on YouTube and social media and also uh, Medicare insurance agents and brokers that uh, claim to be experts in all things Social Security. There is a uh, company that provides a two-day seminar on all things Social Security, and then they give you a cute little certificate saying, now you're a Social Security expert. Two days. Yeah, no. Um, Social Security employees are hired. They're training for three months, and then they're basically under full review for about a year or two. There are tens of thousands of pages of policy that Social Security employees need to know. Um, you don't know what you don't know. And I've seen a lot of people get incorrect information from people that shouldn't have been providing that information because they are not trained. They don't have the expertise and the experience to do so. So please be careful. Um, again, contact Social Security directly, um, watch my videos, go on to ssa.gov, or like I said, just uh, give me a call and uh, we can make sure you're receiving everything you're entitled to. And again, if you want us to help you find a Medicare plan or supplement or Part D plan, then we'd be more than happy to do so. And uh, in the future, five years now, 10 years from now, you have a, a problem with Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid or whatever the case may be. You just put me on speed dial and call up and say, hey, I just got this weird letter from the Social Security Administration. Uh, what does it mean? And uh, you can always have me on speed dial and always uh, be willing to help you out. All right. As usual, have a beautiful day and we'll talk to you soon.